This is one of the few hydrogen refueling stations in Norway. And, uh, you well, know, I just happened to drive past here. So I figured, okay, let's check it out. Uh, so you see the price back there is uh, 8.99 nook per uh, 100 grams. Yeah, it, measure, it doesn't measure it in, in volume, but in, uh, in, in kilos, you know. So um, that is about one euros. Yeah, well, less, slightly less than one euro per, per 100 grams. So you see here, there's some info here about it. It's just like a hydrogen quick guide, okay? Um, hydrogen cars are EVs that uses hydrogen as energy carrier. And then it says, our hydrogen uh, gas is produced from water and electricity. Uh, consumption is 100 gram per me uh, meal in, we use this meal, which is uh, 10 kilometers. So, so that means 10 grams per uh, kilometer. <laughs> yeah, sounds like drug, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, and the tank takes five kilos, so that gives you a 500 kilometer um, range, which is about 300 miles. And then the price for a full tank, well, 899 uh, for yeah, 100 grams, so that's 450 nook for a full tank. So 450 nook is about um, 50 euros for 500 kilometers. So, you know, quick math show you that it costs almost one nook per kilometer or like 10, 10 euro cents. And in in uh, US, it will be like 12, let's say 12 uh, cents then per kilometer. Quick math. Uh, so only pure water as the only emission. Yeah, that could be troublesome in winter. Hmm, I thought about that. Oh, it takes only three to five minutes to fill up the tank. Yes, uh, so uh, someone has, has bought some uh, hydrogen here. Uh, I guess it wasn't Hindenburg. Uh, so... 2.9 kilos for that price, uh, 89, uh, yeah, so that's, and then they pay 260 uh, nook, but, I mean, there's only one pump here, but you know, they, they only need one pump, because, well, I've been standing here for a bit, and nobody came yet, uh, I don't know where the hydrogen cars are, but uh, they are basically non-existent in Norway, in Norway, we have like, maybe like 100, I don't know by now how many we have, maybe 150,000 EVs or at least over 100,000. So somewhere between 110 to 150,000 EVs. And hydrogen cars, well, I haven't checked, but I'm guessing maybe 100 or 200. And uh, some of them are in other cities. So, um, uh, you know, Elon, he, he just said for a long time that he said that uh, um, hydrogen is such bullshit, right? And some people, they, they try to defend, uh, you know, defend the hydrogen. Why? why you know it's good shit you know because you can refuel it's emission free but you know there are so many reasons why hydrogen is bad like uh, how long do you want this video to be but uh, uh, where do I start okay um, all right it takes three to five minutes that's like the main argument for using hydrogen and it's clean only water right uh, so um, well yes it takes only three to five minutes but you know my Tesla here when I'm around Oslo, I don't go to the supercharger. I don't go to the fast charger. I plug it in at home. It takes 10 seconds. When I park at the garage, I plug it in, done. And then next day, I have full tank, full battery, and I can go for, you know, three, 400 kilometers. Like, actually now, uh, I just finished a trip. I took a Nimbo trip. I drove, uh, I don't know how many kilometers there was, probably like some 300 kilometers. I, I delivered a combi camp trailer and I haven't used a fast charger. I'm going to drive home soon. And uh, yeah, so um, what is the point then uh, to refuel fast? Because you know, the problem is you cannot refuel hydrogen at home. There's no such device that can use the water at your home and use some electricity and create hydrogen. I mean, it probably exists, but it's way too expensive. So that means that the only way you can you know, refuel or charge up your car, your hydrogen car, is to go to one of these hydrogen stations. So already there, uh, the EV has a great advantage compared to the hydrogen uh, station. And then you had the price that I just discussed, and you know what? So uh, it's it's about okay. So it, it was it was almost you know almost one nook per kilometer, or almost you know, 10, 10 cents right per kilometer. The price for fuel in euro, which is fairly high compared to US or other places. Um, it's about 50 nook per uh, per liter or you know, 1.5 euros per liter and I guess you know when they then, when they gave you these numbers 
that is like NEDC or whatever, you know, really optimistic range. I mean, optimistic numbers. So you have to also assume 0.5. I mean, five liters per 100 kilometer consumption on, the, on a, like a diesel or whatever gasoline car. So that means that a gasoline car will only cost you about 75. Uh, well, I mean, 75 cents, right? Uh, so a gasoline car is already cheaper than the, the hydrogen car to, to run uh, and that, that like um, uh, that hydrogen uh, fuel cell also has a lifetime and it has to be replaced and they're working on it to make it better but still you know fuel price is lower than the hydrogen so why the heck would you pick hydrogen then uh, and also you know as of today hydrogen fuel refueling stations are really there are really few of them and, but gas stations are everywhere. So if you already have a gasoline car, why would you pick a hydrogen car? Uh, there are some incentives for using hydrogen in Norway. Uh, like, you know, you have like free toll road, uh, free parking, you know, stuff like that. But you also have it with a Tesla or any other AVs. So why the heck would you pick a hydrogen car if you can afford a Tesla? Because, you know, these hydrogen cars are somewhat expensive. And, okay, um, you can't match, you know, the range but still, uh, even today, if you buy Ionic or you know the new Leaf, or if you wait for the Hyundai Kona, you know those are very affordable cars with good range, and we have plenty of supercharger. And we have sorry, we have plenty of fast chargers around here. So why would you pick hydrogen? You know, I I don't know. I have to end this video, otherwise it's going to be too long. Um, so and I still don't know what is going to happen in winter, in freezing temperature, when the hydrogen cars. They dump uh, the water because I've seen the, like a pond on the, on the on the ground where the hydrogen car, the dump water. What's gonna happen? It will be super slippery, man. Yeah, these hydrogen cars, they're gonna pee all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know how it works, so no, don't take my word for it. But uh, what I've seen so far is that hydrogen cars, they have lots of disadvantages. And I'm not going to even start about how inefficient they are the, the like massive loss of heat and energy in the process of making it and in the process of consuming it so yeah so i don't know we'll just end it here say that you know hydrogen cars could have a chance to develop if it came 10 years ago 20 years ago then maybe you know it could have established and grown bigger but they started way too late you know, hydrogen cars coming in 2018 is way too late uh, because Tesla and, you know, Jaguar, Audi, uh, all these other manufacturers, you know, Hyundai, they make better and better EVs now. So there's really almost no point to get hydrogen cars. So, yeah. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> so uh, that's it for now then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So talk to you later.